Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here with another dinosaur review, prehistoric animal review. Now, it's been like two months since I did my last review, and I apologize for that. Um, uh, it's just been busy with what's happening in the world and also other things, and I kind of forgot, oh yeah, I should do a couple of reviews of some new figures I got. So, and this is one of the new figures I got. Um, this is the new Collecta 2020 Lisa Wiesia. Um I got this not from Minizu, but from a Korean eBay seller from Korea. I've gotten all, all a bunch of others, like uh, which I will review uh, in other videos. But I thought I'd start with my favorite of the collector of all the collector 2020 figures. Now let's begin. Now Lisa Wiesia, uh was from the early Triassic of Poland and was recently described back in 2018. It is a Dicynodont, which is Nice that we rarely get Dicynodont figures, but the difference between this and, say, a regular Dicynodont, like, say, Diectodon, Lystrosaurus, or Placerius, is that this one was massive, it was about the size of an elephant. And I gotta say, like, like along with Collecto with their Sharingosaurus, I'm kind of glad that there are more companies doing early Triassic reptiles, especially herbivorous reptiles, since herbivores from the Triassic are rarely done. And I have to say, this, like, when I first saw this, I was I'm absolutely amazed of the colorations, and I was just shocked, like, Alisa Wiesia? Really? Like, this quickly? But then again, we got also the uh, Bahadasaurus and the Saltyrobinator Sulti early as well, so, uh, very quickly as well. So, this is a very interesting figure. Now, this figure is massive, so when you're getting this figure, be prepared to have a bit of space, because this is actually probably the biggest of the Paleozoic, uh, terrestrial Paleozoic figures I own. Compare it to the Dimetrodon, the Astemnosuchus, and the uh, Adapsaurus, even though this is from the early Triassic, but still. Um, so it's technically Mesozoic. It's pretty good, it has an articulated jaw. Mine is, if you can see here, um, it is a bit loose on mine, but it honestly works extremely well. Uh, as you can see here, if you look pretty closely, of all these wrinkles on top of the body with the little um, spots. There is a bit of um, fading. I don't know if that's part of the figure of my, just of my figure or it's just all figures in general of this kind. You have the nostrils. Like, you can barely see the nostrils and the ear holes on it. So like the ear holes right there and then the nostrils right there. You have the little uh, tusks or fangs or whatever those are. And again, you have a look at the back. You have a little tiny tail. You have obviously that. And you have also the name underneath. Now, another thing I want to bring up is recently, like since 2019, Collecta has been doing something similar to what Schleich does. Instead of putting the, the year it is of the figure, they've been putting the previous year. So, like, with last year's figures, um, they put, like, 2018 down. This year, it's 2019. So, I think that's a bit of a change. But still, it's a pretty good one. There are five... And I gotta say, like, there are five digits here and there of the claws. Uh, and I gotta say, like, from every angle, this is an absolutely stunning figure. I wish there was a smock figure to go with it. With it but uh, here's another size comparison. Um, first, we're gonna bring in... What's a good figure to bring in? Uh, let's see, a Collecta Xenoceratops. As you can see, that for size. Um, the Safari Limited Giant uh, Feathered T-Rex. I uh, can't try and find a little. Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's put a Titanosaur and say, "Hey, I'm the Titanosaur Emperor." And then here's it with the Collecta Argentinosaurus. And one final one that I have another site I sent it on. I recently got the Dino Riders Placerius. So you can see this is an absolutely massive figure, and I'm pretty sure this would be more of what a modern scale. If not, the Placerius should be a bit tinier, but a pretty good scale up to the uh, Lysuisia. So yeah, that's been my review of the Collecta 2020 Lysuisia. My next review hopefully will be either of the Invertebrates or one of the other Collecta 2020 Summer Wave figures. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.